my mommy and and you're having a fight. He's hurting mommy. Cause he's hurting her. And he made some red marks on mama's on your mama's neck. He did what? I'm Kristen Thompson, a sergeant with Lake County Sheriff's Office. I supervise the Criminal Investigations Unit where we investigate scenes like this every day. When the Sheriff's Office becomes involved, then we've been summoned to the house, whether it be by the victim, by a neighbor, by somebody hearing what's going on, occasionally by the perpetrator, only because he wants to um, try to justify the, his actions prior to. So, needless to say, somebody has summoned the sheriff's office through 911. Once we respond, we take a look at what's happening on the scene, separate the parties, address any medical needs that need to be done, and then we move into looking at charges if that's what's necessary. When we respond to the domestic violence calls, we find that we have always have three sides to every story. And that's usually the complainants, the other half of it, and then the truth. So it's up, left up to us a lot of times to try to figure out who's actually telling the truth. So we're going to get out here and try to find out what's going on with this. Domestic violence is any assault, battery, um, whether it be a simple battery or a felony battery, a kidnapping, sexual battery, false imprisonment, any type of a violent crime like that that's occurring within a family unit by a household member. Wrestling around? No, they were playing. wrestling around. They were arguing. That's that's what your mom said. Yes, too. they were arguing. My brother was pushing her. I watched my mom. Her neck almost snapped. She okay. almost gave him whiplash. And I came out there and he pushed me. And well, I, I slammed back. Not what it's about. Not what it's I'm going to have one of my panic attacks. When a deputy r arrives on scene, the victims are generally forthcoming at that point because it's in the heat of the moment and they're looking for help. It's not until later when the scene starts to relax a little bit that they may recant their story. Uh, she, the only well, thing that she saw was them arguing and she's upset because she doesn't want there to be a big, you know, problem. Yeah, someone's going to have to go somewhere. Victims will also try to recant their story when they see that the perpetrator is actually leaving the house. They wanted immediate help, but that doesn't necessarily mean taking him away. Because once you take him away, you take away a lot of things, such as a paycheck and a, a manner of living and things of this nature. Some people start using prescription medications for legitimate reasons, but run into problems later. Others are looking for a high that doesn't carry the stigma of street corner drugs. Do you know what I just took? Still more may just be mixing substances their bodies simply can't handle. I'm Lake County Sheriff Gary Borders. My office is working to stop pharmaceutical diversion and the major problem of accidental deaths. To learn more, visit our website. Hi, I'm Crystal Meth. Try me once, I might let you go. But if you try me twice, then I'll own your soul. I take kids from their parents and parents from their kids. I'll take and take until you have no more to give. I'll take everything from you, your looks and your pride. I'll ravage your body and control your mind. Now that you've met me, what will you do? Will you, you try, try me or not? not? It's, it's all up to you. Hi, honey. What are you wearing? Well, you told me to wear this. You look like trash. They better not be coming here. Domestic violence does not discriminate. It's, it's not um, in strictly poor households or wealthy households. The cycle of violence can be broken. By contacting the Lake County Sheriff's Office, we can intervene in the beginning of stages when it's starting out with just emotional and mental control. We will provide resources for you and the help that you need and the direction you need to go in. 